They may be getting ready for a big dinner and opening presents on Christmas. One family, however, has a holiday tradition much different. Tonight, they spread some holiday cheer at Sanford Children's Hospital, all in the name of their late brother. WDAY 6 reporter Amy Unruh was there. She joins us live tonight with more. Amy? Kirsten, what started out as a small gift for Scott and Nikki Fawson's dad has now grown into a heartwarming memorial for their brother Cody. It's also becoming a way to make the season brighter for children growing, going through the same thing that Cody did. Sleep in and get my presents, basically. It's a Christmas that Christian Horn will certainly remember, but he won't be following his normal traditions. I was planning on being in Georgia. A few months ago, he and his mom were in a car crash near Tioga. He's been at the Sanford Children's Hospital ever since and will be for another few months. But while he may not be home, the Christmas spirit will still be with him. It means a lot. It means a lot to at least bring some kind of happiness to these kids. Green Bay Jack. Talks about football, gifts of ice cream and wings, laughter and smiles from kids have now replaced presents for the Fawson family. Put our time forward and help others feel joy. But that happiness comes from heartache. He passed away when he was 17. He's the greatest person I've ever known. Scott and Nikki's family has spent long, sleepless nights at the Sanford Children's Hospital. Five years ago, their brother Cody died from cancer. From then on out, their dad requested no more gifts, just good deeds. It's kind of pointless to give slippers and candies for Christmas. And it just meant a little bit more because Cody had so many things where people would give to him. My brother was up in the hospital. All the guests that would come in would just cheer him up. So they ring the Salvation Army bell, cook meals for the Ronald McDonald house, and donate blood. And most importantly, are doing something Cody loved by brightening the days of kids who are in the hospital around the holidays. <laughs> Trying to do things to honor him and so everybody else can feel how great he was spread his happiness and joy because he would make the best of being out there. Scott and Nikki say their brother just loved life and held an extremely strong faith. They say they're happy to continue and spread this Christmas tradition. Reporting live, Amy Enra, WDAY 6 News.